Some of you may recall in 1994 that I was the chairman of our party. And, uh, and Won majority in both houses of Congress for the first time in 40 years. Went from 17 Republican governors to 31. Time Magazine said it described it as the greatest midterm majority sweep of the 20th century. For a boy from Yazoo City, Mississippi, it's pretty heady stuff. <laughs> and I don't mind saying that I'm proud of it to this day. But I want to tell you something that's much more. 2010 much more important than 1993. Stakes have never been higher in the internal election. So if I don't get put one thing across to you, I want to get across to you, we can't wait until 2012 to start taking the This is the place with Tom Corbin. To win this Senate seat with Pat Toomey. To win this seat to the House of Representatives. And why? Well, I'll tell you why. The Obama administration and the Pelosi Reed Congress have made the biggest lurch to the left. American political history. They've gone on a spending spree that give drunken sailors a bad name. <laughs> spending in the trillions. The trillions. When I was in the Reagan White House, the budget was a trillion. In the Obama White House, the deficit is a trillion three, a trillion four, and a trillion five in his first three, his first three uh, budgets. Can you imagine? And who's going to pay that back? I'll tell you, going to pay it back. Our children and our grandchildren are going to pay that back. And the worst part is, what do we got for it? We have 10% unemployment for it. That's what we got for it. We've got all this spending. Would we be better off? Well, this is kind of the difference between us and them. They believe in bigger government, even if it means a smaller economy. We're going to have a bigger economy, and one reason is we've got a smaller government.